Happy Monday. During this live, I want to briefly discuss my forecast of how we'll be dressing post COVID. So the first day of spring was this past Saturday, and it's always an exciting time because the weather is getting warmer. It's a great time to do a little spring cleaning in our closets, and we can transition our winter wardrobes out and welcome in our spring attire. I feel like this spring is even more special because we're seeing a light at the end of this tunnel that we've been in since 2020. Hopefully things will get back to normal and this spring will be the catalyst for that. So with spring being here, it's made me think a lot about how the pandemic has affected the way we get dressed. And now that we're climbing out of it, I wanted to talk about my fashion predictions of what style and getting dressed looks like post COVID. Before we dive in, I'll give a quick introduction. I'm Emmeline Chapel, and I'm a certified personal stylist. I have my own company called Emmeline's Personal Styling, and I help busy women elevate their style by discovering a new way of dressing to look luxe for less. So today I wanted to share my fashion forecast on how we will view style and getting dressed in a post-COVID time. So at the start of the pandemic, many of us were dressing purely for comfort in our PJs or sweats, and some of us started to even forget how to get dressed. And throughout 2020, this rebellious camp was born of individuals like me who wanted to get dressed up even if they were stuck at home. It was a way to help us cope and to just feel a little bit better. The pandemic brought on this open discussion of mental health and many of us found that getting dressed was a form of self-care, a way to energize our moods, calm our anxiety, or still just have that sense of normalcy. And now that we're getting closer to life opening back up again, I see a marriage of these two camps, comfort and dressing up to produce a new way of dressing. I predict that post-COVID dressing will look like comfort still being um, a top priority in how we want to feel in our outfits, but that will be taking the opportunity to dress up more. We've been cooped up for so long in the house that once social activities do open back up, it's gonna give even the most casual of dressers a reason to go out, get dressed up, to feel good and look good. So I believe that while comfort will be a top factor, we'll also have no shame in dressing up, even if it's just meeting friends for brunch, because the pandemic has taught us that life is too short not to wear what you want just for the heck of it. I was reading an article in particular that argued that COVID was um, what the fashion industry and what um, fashion consumers needed. So for years, we had been in this cycle of the industry constantly pushing out trends that we couldn't keep up with and the mass production of fast fashion, and the writer argued that COVID in some ways gave us the revamp that we needed when it comes to fashion. It made us all slow down, breathe, take a different approach to style and getting dressed. We thought about sustainability in our wardrobes and we started taking a closer look at our closets and redefining our own sense of style. And we started to let fashion be a way to boost our moods and help our mental health. In a way, it's brought us back to the core of fashion, which is about joy and individuality. Um, individuality. It's taken away that mechanical, fast pace driven feel, and instead it's let us focus on fashion that makes us feel good and redefine our own sense of style. It's brought up this idea of dressing for ourselves and dressing in a way that is authentic to us. So that's my little fashion forecast on post-COVID dressing. Let me know in the comments what your predictions are. If you have any questions about this video, please leave me a comment down below or send me a direct message and I will answer you as soon as possible. And if you'd like any help with your personal style or your wardrobe, please reach out through my website. Thanks so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.